when it comes to food, I think we all like to try some different things. You know, figure out what we like best and how we best like it, you know. What what type of preparation or what you know, what would you like to have it with? And I would say that I try to apply this principle to everything in life. And I think basically everyone should at least try to. I'm of course referring to religion most mostly here. Anyone who follows a religion, if you love it so much, then won't you just return to it if you try something else? If you try either a different religion or not believing in a religion at all. I would say when you try to go away from something and then come back to it, you appreciate it more. You realize what it was you appreciated about it. And maybe you won't go back to it because you'll realize you don't really like it. It was just kind of there. Maybe, maybe your parents taught it to you or it was just part of that group that you were in when you started out and now that's maybe ten years ago and maybe you don't even see those people anymore, you know. You shouldn't do something just because it's the only thing you really know of, you know. I'll grant that there are things that we know offhand. You know, being a straight guy, I realized that I wouldn't enjoy having sex with a man, but other than that, other than those kind of things, not that I, not that I mean to imply that everyone knows their sexuality, there are, you know, percentages, excuse me, and I also hope you don't interpret this as me trying to offend homosexuals or anything. Anyway, other than these very specific things, with a lot of things we don't know what we'll like before we've tried a lot of different things and this makes us appreciate what we like all the more because suddenly you can think, well, it certainly isn't that other thing that I can't stand, you know. So, yeah, that's it for this one.